Hello. To update about my sleep situation right now, I've tried sleeping every night instead of staying up the whole night and staying up for 36 hours again and again. Um, so, but I've gone to bed really late. Like, I've gone to bed at early morning at like 5, 6 and fell asleep after hours of just lying there so it's hard uh, I want to give up but I'm not going to give up it would be so easy to just take a pill or two and just have a good sleep but yeah I'm not going to do that uh, yeah, I think that was it about the sleep, right? Yeah. Um, okay, I want to talk about what I said two days ago I would do yesterday, but yesterday I was busy. I want to talk about what uh, Folk High School, how it helped my whole life, really. Um, yeah, like, I, as I said, I'm a very shy person. Uh, I'm not really good at talking to people and meeting new people. So all through school, I've not gotten too many friends from elementary school, junior high and high school and stuff. But when I started, uh, started Folk High School, it was just straight away people were like hi come join us at the table have a talk and people I met the first day the first day are now some of the best friends I have uh, and they're from all over Norway so I can't see some of them all the time but um, and they're so, all of them are so understanding, they all just listen and that's something I've never gotten at home around because everyone just looks at me at, as the guy who was always sick and home from school. At least that's how I think they look at me, but people has denied that I don't know but it's so that feeling just makes me not want to live in this area uh, so yeah that's something else I guess that now I'm just rambling uh, yeah folk high school um, before starting school I was just sitting all day on a couch watching TV with my laptop every day um, I didn't want to do anything I didn't I was afraid to do anything like for instance driver's license in no way we can um, we can start practice driving when we're 16 and take the license when we're 18 I didn't want to so I got my license when I was 20 and that's when my mom just okay I've gotten you a driver's license that was bad English I gotten you some driver's lessons yeah uh, so uh, yeah, so I got my license when I was 20 instead of 18 like that's late especially when you live out in a country where you need a car um, I've always been afraid of even stuff I want to like there's been concerts in Bergen one hour away from me that I really wanted to go to but everyone else was busy or didn't want to so I would have to go by myself and an 
I ended up not going because I was afraid, I guess. So that made me miss a lot of things because I was afraid. But now I've gone to a lot of concerts by myself. I've traveled to Oslo where I have to fly and gone by myself and everything because why not live? And that's another thing, traveling. Before, I'd never been anywhere alone without my family and no vacation without my family, nothing. I was so afraid of the world. But uh, after Folk High School, now I just love traveling. Like Oslo, I didn't dare to go to Oslo alone because that was too far away. I'd been with my brother a few times to Oslo and even that was kind of scary. But now I, yeah, like, okay, with the Folk High School, first I have to kind of explain what it is. It is where every class is, there's no exams, no, no grades, no exams, just you, one class is for pho photography, one class is for music, one class is for dance, uh, football, uh, and some different, for, uh, one for exercise, one for, uh, one is called global extreme, global active, so they're doing different stuff, one, yeah. So the first, I've been three times, a student twice, and um, a social worker, I guess, the third year. So the first year I went uh, music and we traveled to Nashville and the people I met from my class and from the school generally are just the best people I've ever met. I And um, the teachers this isn't really explaining anything, this is just like me telling how much I love it. Um, yeah, so every class travels. So the first year we traveled to Nashville with music. Next year, uh, and the whole whole school travels to Israel, but the first year I was I didn't want to because I was too afraid of the chronic fatigue. Like, would I be able to spend three weeks, three weeks and in Israel, would I be able to follow up the whole uh, schedule and stuff? So I didn't go because I was, again, I was afraid, but uh, yeah, we traveled to Nashville. The next year I was with photography and Again, there was the Israel trip, and then again, I was, I guess, too afraid to go. I'm not sure if it was, yeah, I, I guess it was fear, fear of not being able to, uh, energy-wise. Um, but that was in October, but in February, photography was going to Africa. So we went to Malawi, Zambia, Botswana, and Zimbabwe. And in Zimbabwe, that is one of the places, one of the experiences that really changed my whole life. Um, so we were in a lot of parks taking photos of animals and game drives, a lot of, a lot of photos of animals like we come home we come home with like 10 15 thousand photos um but in zimbabwe we were at a place called antelope park um they have us they have a project where they they are trying to release lions into the wild again this has been tried three or four times uh, three or four big times around the world 
before and it's always failed and antelope park is or african impact who is running the park uh, figured out that at least they think it's because the lions are too used to animal not to humans uh, so humans teach the lions to hunt and stuff and release them and when they release them the the lions aren't afraid of humans so they seek humans and go into villages and are killed and different stuff but that's another story um but there we got the opportunity to uh, join them on where we are in a car with lions around us and watching the lions hunt so i got a few photos of the lion killing an antelope and eating it which is a rare sight and a rare photography possibility and i gave those photos to the park and they were right away like we we love them please please come back as a volunteer sometime please and i was like oh cool yeah that would be cool and they're like we're serious please just take an application please something and i asked my teacher if it was possible to just stay now uh so i stayed for two more weeks and my class just went back home so from going to being afraid of uh, traveling to Oslo alone to we were first in Africa for three weeks and at the end of the three weeks this opportunity came opportunity um, so I took it, I took the opportunity and I stayed in Africa for two more weeks, taking photos, walking with lions, just spending time with lions, elephants, snakes, everything. And so that just changed my whole life. I, now I just love Africa. And my teacher told me like he saw something in me like something snapped like i found what i really want to do wildlife photography and you just saw something and that was kind of cool uh and i would never have gotten that opportunity without starting folk high school and Somehow, I would never have gotten that opportunity if I never end up with chronic fatigue syndrome. Maybe I wouldn't even have ever picked up a camera. I don't know. Uh, so, we... Okay, I got back home and... The next year, I was a social worker in that school because I had so much love for the school. And again, I was working a lot with the photography class and I was, I, and this year I took the opportunity to go to Israel. So we went to Israel and Jordan for three weeks, which was again, amazing. And I went with the photography class to Kenya and India three weeks again. So the and now i have more friends than i could ever count like yeah um i'm really bad at expl explaining because i always get speak about something else and just fall out like i haven't really spoken about the high school uh, folk high school at all just about the traveling but yeah so from just sitting alone all day like this is the folk high school has got me to 
Kenya, <laughs> yeah, to Kenya, to Zimbabwe and Malawi and to Israel, Jordan, India, just every one of these is a different country I've been to. And that's all because of uh, all because of Nordland for high school. So So in kind of a way I'm grateful that I ended up with chronic fatigue in that way. So I guess it's kind of a way to look at the bad in a good way or the bad ending up but the good way ending up because of the bad way I guess I don't know something like that but all of this is because I started out in a bad place I have no idea where I'm going with this, but yeah, some of you are probably, hopefully, maybe going to get it, even though I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Goodbye.